Hey everyone, good morning. It's actually morning today, so woohoo for getting that right. Um, today I am going to be doing a Shadow Sense demo, but full face Shadow Sense demo. So how exciting is that? I'm actually going to start with my medium tint to moisturizer. I'm going to do everything else Shadow Sense, but I, I mean... I have like some redness and discoloration to my skin, so I'm just going to try and even it out a little bit before I start with the shadows. So I'm just going to take a, like a half a pump of this medium, medium is the color, color correcting tint to moisturizer. So I'm just going to start with that. And I just use my hands. Oh no, I forgot. My little blender ball. Oh no. I'll just have to use a brush and it won't be a big deal. So you can see already that the medium tint moisturizer really does. I mean, it doesn't cover up like the darker spots, but it really does even out your skin tone pretty well. Considering it's just tinted moisturizer and it's not like, um, <clears throat> foundation so I don't even have any foundation on but all right now I'm gonna start with the shadows I have a like so many brushes and shadows right here and I'm gonna try and show you all when you jump on say hi because Facebook won't tell me who's on now it's awesome okay so let's see I'm gonna start with candlelight and I'm not gonna use this as my under eye I'm gonna use this as concealer so you can see, like I have a little blemish here. My chin is just constantly red. I'm gonna try and cover this up and right here. And I'm just gonna take this bigger foundation brush. This is an essential foundation brush. I also have this tiny one, which is a pointed foundation brush, but they look so similar. But they're both real techniques. I'm just gonna, I'm going to try and spread that around my chin because, like I said, my chin is always red. Hey, Stacy, How are you? Um, I didn't really see. Where did I put the candle light? Oh, no. Did I put it back? All of them are upside down in like this little, this is like what I, one of the things that I use when I do uh, like a home party. So I just put all my shadow senses in this little tub, but I put it in upside down. So all I could see was the gold cap. So I'm just going to try and spread that out a little bit. And this is candlelight shadow sense. I have this weird spot on my nose too that's like discolored. Uh, it is what it is. But you can see already how that dark spot was really covered by the candlelight shadow sense. How awesome. And I'm I have pretty fair skin. So instead of using the candlelight under my eye to highlight, I'm gonna use the sandstone pearl. It's still a matte shade, but it's just a little bit lighter. So you can see that the candlelight's a little bit more yellow. And this one has a little bit more like a bluish hue. Like, you know, it's a cool tone. That was Shadow Sense. Yes. How awesome is that? All right. So I'm going to make like a little triangle. And this is for highlighting. This is Sandstone Pearl Shadow Sense. Okay. Now usually this is where I would use my blender ball, the little squishy like teardrop shaped ball, but I don't know where it, it I'm, I left it upstairs. So I'm just going to use this, which is not normal for me, so if it looks crazy, that's probably why. I should probably turn this mirror. Oh no, it's not. Oh, see, I got a little too much here. A little bit goes a long way. I'm going to use my finger because... Oh, 
If you're just jumping on, say hi. And that is a freckle. That freckle gets covered up pretty well. I'm not used to using this brush, so forgive me for using my finger too. The ball, the blender ball kind of sucks some of it up because it's a sponge. So with the brush, it doesn't really suck it up. So I think I use more product with the brush than with my blender ball. I'm going to highlight right through there too. Just kind of do like a little Hey everybody. All right. So that was sandstone pearl. I just used a highlight. Okay, under my eyes, forehead, nose, and your um Crow's Peak? Is that what's called? No. I never know what that thing's called. All right. So let's see. Um, I'm going to do mostly mulberry for this whole thing, which is kind of interesting because I hardly ever use mulberry on my eyes. So I'm going to show you now how I'm going to use it as blush. So I'm going to take it out, and I'm just going to put it on my hand just like I would my blush scents. And that's probably way too much. I'm going to take my stippling brush that I always use for my blush. This is a Real Techniques brush. All my brushes except one is a Real Techniques. That's the brand name. And this is a stippling brush. If you can, you're can, you probably not going to be able to see that, but you can see a little bit. Real Techniques brush by Sam and Nick, if you're wondering. So I'm just going to kind of... And just get right on the fatty part. And you can see it's it's very it's a beautiful color. So that's mulberry. Now I'm gonna go wipe that off my hand. Because it may never come off. <laughs> All the shadow senses are just like the lip sense in the sense that once they dry, they will stay forever. I think the shadow sense to me, lasts longer than the lip scents. Probably because you're not putting food in and out of your mouth the whole time. Hey, bud. Oh, no. I gave him peanut butter crackers. He has peanut butter all over his hands, and then he just wiped his eyes. There you go. All right, go watch TV. Just for now. Okay, so now he's going to pull my shirt off. All right. Real life, people. Real life. So now I'm going to take Mommy. Mocha Java Mommy. Mommy. and I'm going to use Mommy. this as a Mommy. highlighter. Mommy. I'm, I'm sorry, Mommy. a contour. Mommy. So I'm going to take Mommy. this Mocha Java, Mommy. just going to take Mommy. a little bit of it off the, off the stick and go Mommy. right underneath of my blush Mommy. line. Mommy. 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 And then Mommy. right along my chin. Mommy. And up into my hairline. This is contour. Frank, what, honey? That is... I love you. I love it. I love you. I love it. Same thing over here. Right along the chin and the jawline. Right underneath of the cheekbone. And up into the hairline. It seems way scarier when um, when you first do it. Dad. But oh, you remember the age that they just repeat themselves over and over and over. Mama. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little Mama. bit down each side of my nose. That kind of makes your nose look a little smaller. But this is the important one. If that's Mama. the only one you do, that's the important one because that's going to make your your um. Your face have that instant slimming look, so it's gonna make it look like it comes in in your cheeks, Mama. like that. Mama. So, Mama. that just needs blended out a little bit more. What? I'm on. I can't come on. I'm on live. 
<laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, I'm going to get into the shadows a little bit. I'm going to start with sandstone. I'm sorry. Shimmer sandstone. No. No. This is killing me. Shimmer smoke topaz. Okay. Hold on, buddy. Here. Here. This is going to be torture. Okay. So I'm just going to put this shimmer smoked topaz right in the outside corner. And along the crease just a little bit. Mama. I'm not going to put a whole lot because like I said before, a little bit goes a long, long way. This is a domed shadow brush, a crease brush. It is from Mary Kay. And I'm just going to brush that along into my crease and in the outside corner. Along the crease. Oh my. What baby? Here, you want to play with this bracelet? It unclips. Okay. So that, your shadows uh, take about one to two minutes. They give you a one to two minute window to dry. So, we're going to come in with our mulberry again. Because mulberry is kind of our, our thing today. I'm just going to do right inside of this shimmer smoke topaz. I gotta open up my other set of brushes, which is this is a dome shadow brush. Real Mama. techniques. I'm just gonna kind of blend it together. Mama. 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 Here, buddy. No. Why not? Okay. Shimmer and see now. I like to go back with my with the crease brush and kind of darken that up again because I feel like it gets covered up and I kind of want that smokiness a little bit on the outside corner. What baby? Here, take this pen and paper and you can draw. Oh, he usually loves that. Look. Go draw. Okay. Now we're going to take our Pink Frost. This is probably one of my favorite shades. Pink Mama. Frost. Mama. Mama. What, Brecken? I love it. I love you. I love it. Oh, you want water. <laughs> no. <laughs> he wants water. Okay. I'm just going to blend that in. I'm going to try and keep it in the corner as much as possible. I don't want to wash out my mulberry. I want to blend it, but I don't want to cover it up. I think I, I misspoke on the last live. And I'll bring it up into underneath my eye or underneath my brow bone. Okay, so then... Same thing like the shot or like the shimmer smoke topaz. I'm gonna to take my mulberry brush, the one that I use for my mulberry, and just kind of blend that mulberry back in. So there's my eyes. I'm gonna take my onyx shadow scents. Flip it over. And I'm gonna use my mirror. Aw, oh, snap. You know what else I forgot? My little... You know what? If I can do this with a little child pulling on my arm, you guys can do this in your, in your mirror at home in your bathroom. Okay. So you got your Onyx, Shimmer Smoke Topaz, Mulberry, Pink Frost. Um... I'm going to take a little mocha java. This is where the fun begins. 
wrecking? You're killing me, bud. I know you want water, but... Okay, this is Mocha Java. This is a brow brush. I'm going to take it and try to fill in my brows a little bit. Mama, mama. I have like a decent shape to my brows. They're just, uh, they're not filled in. So I want to try and keep it as natural as I can. And that's the great thing about the using the shadow sense because the shadow sense kind of hangs on to the hairs instead of like brushing it on the skin. Put back in. So that's Mocha Java in my brows. So now we get to the fun stuff. Sandstone Pearl Shimmer, I'm going to use also as a highlighter, kind of like pearlizer. I'm going to go right underneath my brow. I'm just, oh, I never told you what this was. This is um, the base shadow brush. But I use it for like all my light, light colors. Just going to kind of blend that in. I'm going to take it and put it right above my cheek. Yes, Brecken. Take my stippling brush again. Blend that. Yes, Brecken. Would you like to draw? No, no. I don't. So I got a little bit of highlight there. Um, real time. Okay. Now the real fun. And this is the end because my entire face is covered in shadow sense at this point. My son stole my towel. So this, I'm going to use this as bombshell. I have bombshell diamond here. Okay. Guys, you're, bear with me. Don't leave me. I'm coming back. I got to get my son water. Hold on. waiting <laughs> all right I'm gonna use bombshell diamond I don't want my kid to feel neglected but geez all right so bombshell diamond is just a little bit more shimmery than regular bombshell and regular bombshell is pretty shimmery so the thing about using shadow sense on your lips So bombshell basically has very little color, like very little color, especially on me. It's like I put nothing on, but the thing about wearing shadow sense, I'm going to use mulberry on my lips. The thing about using shadow sense on your lips is you have to sandwich it in between two layers of lip scents. So I'm going to do bombshell diamond, mulberry, bombshell diamond. So yay. And then I'm just going to put glossy on top because it's going to be so beautiful. I don't want to cover it up. All right. So that's pretty much dry. I'm going to take my mulberry and I'm going to wipe it off as much as I can. And it's shadow sense, so you don't have to take it, uh, one direction. So that's mulberry. The shadow sense. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Oh, well here you go, Becca. It's exciting. Now this isn't going to dry like your lip scent. It's not going to feel like it's dry. 
necessarily. Like when the lip sense dries, I'll try to explain it to you. The, what happens is lip sense is literally um, color pigments that are suspended in cosmetic grade alcohol. That's why you get the little tingly sensation when you first put it on because it's killing off that bacteria and it's allowing that molecular bond to take place. But with the shadow sense, it doesn't have any of the alcohol in it, so it just dries normal. Like, it's, it's a cream to a powder, so it kind of dries within the couple minute period, but it feels dry to me right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my last layer of Bombshell Diamond. Ugh. And it just wouldn't be alive if I didn't get it on my tooth. I swear it's just me that that happens to. So, I will admit that I don't necessarily think that Mulberry is my shade. If you were tan, like a lot tanner than I am, I think it would be amazing. I just feel like it kind of washes me out instead of pops off my face or is like a nice soft pink. So maybe the next time I do this, because you can use any of them. How fun would granite be to use as lipstick? Oh my gosh, that might have to be my next live. Granite, gray, how fun. And you can use Onyx. I, I have Blackberry coming, but you can use Onyx the same way as this. You could do Bombshell, Onyx, Bombshell, and it would be black. I don't know. Maybe I would do Garnet next time. That would be amazing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put my Glossy on because that is dry. Ew. Well, since I have this nice little piece of paper here, you can see where the glossy transferred, but there's no color. So the lip sense or the shadow sense as lip sense, same properties. And it did kind of darken up once I put the glossy on there. So it's not, it doesn't wash me out as bad as I thought it was. But you know what would be fun if you put like a pink glitter or something really shimmery or maybe even um, opal gloss on top to kind of bring out that color. But there's your Shadow Sense demo. I used it today as concealer. I used it as highlighter. I used a shimmer as highlighter. I used it as shadow, blush, lip sense or lipstick. And what else did I use it as? Oh, my eyebrows. So, yay. I hope you guys enjoyed my Shadow Sense demo. And the Shadow Senses are flipping amazing. So, I have all the colors that are out. I have Onyx, Candlelight, Sandstone Pearl, Sandstone Pearl Shimmer, Pink Opal Shimmer, Pink Frost, Mocha Java Shimmer, Mocha Java, Mulberry Snow, Smoke Topaz, Smoke Topaz, or Shimmer Smoke Topaz, and there's a new one coming in called Whisper Pink that I just ordered. So if you are interested in the shadows, please, please reach out to me. They're amazing, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.